Hi and welcome. Uh, I'm joined today by Marty Pask, who's our new Director of Football, and uh, we're just going to have a chat to Marty today uh, about what's happening at the Ajax Football Club. So welcome, Marty. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. All right. First of all, Marty, why don't you tell the uh, community a little bit about uh, yourself and, uh, and what you're doing down here at the footy club? Yep. Uh, look, I started my football journey, if you like, in Queensland. I grew up playing underage football uh, for a club called the Western Magpies in Queensland, which was then the Queensland uh, Football League, which is now the NEFL. Uh, from there, I came through the Queensland underage system, so the 16s and two years of um, under 18s football, and the then Teal Cup, and I think it was one year of the National Australia Bank under 18 championships that it is today. So uh, that started me off, and then went into. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get picked up by the Brisbane Lions, and um, and enjoyed uh, a few years with Brisbane. Then the Western Bulldogs brought me down to Melbourne, and then from there uh, finished my career at the Werribee Tigers. And and today I um, run an AFL management uh, business, uh, handling the careers of about 35, 40 AFL footballers and, um, and various other things in sport. Great. So tell us, uh, what, what attracted you to this role as director of football down here at the Ajax Footy Club? Well, the, the key thing for me was um, I, I, I wasn't playing anymore. And with a wealth of knowledge that you get from playing and, um, and your experiences in playing football, uh, you've obviously got still a lot to give the game. Um, you can't do it physically, um, so I was I was looking for a role or an opportunity rather um, where I could where I could help um, and develop young people. Uh, I feel that that's probably one of my strengths. Uh, so that was one thing that really excited me was working with a lot of young men, um, and obviously the committee impressed me as well and, and felt that I got along well with them. So. For me, it was an opportunity to get back into football, uh, learn something new, which is coaching. I haven't coached before, uh, but certainly I, I know football. I have the understanding of football. I have the knowledge, and, and managing people day to day is what I do. is uh, is something that's not foreign to me, um, and I feel very comfortable with. Excellent. Well, I think you've spoken to us about your philosophy when it comes to football. So why don't we jump into what you're doing with the under 17s in your coaching role? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I guess the best thing to describe the under 17s and, and what you'd hope to have as a football club is that the next the next level up is senior football. So what you're hoping is that you're developing them, and there's a process that you're going through where they're understanding what the expectations are. Uh, if they want to go on and play senior football uh, with the Ajax, um, which are in B grade at the moment. So we want to understand that that's the next level. Uh, they need to understand what expectations are when they come to a football game, what, what every football club in Australia would stand for and what senior football will stand for. So it's basically educating on them, uh, the standards, the professionalism, uh, but also too allowing them to be themselves as well. And, and play with a, a little bit of flair and, and understand to take the game on. So uh, I guess my role with the 70s at the moment is it's, it's fast tracking, I, I don't really like that word, it's more, um, it's more education and understanding what the next level is if they want to continue with their football career, but also understanding too uh, the foundations and, and the non-negotiables if you like that are football. Okay, well that's the other 17s. Um, a lot of parents are saying, well what are you going to do for the, for the little tackers? What are you going to do for the young ones? Yep. What's your sort of ideas when it comes to, to the real junior level at the footy club? Well the junior level, I've, I've been fortunate enough now to probably take a few training sessions with them already. I've, I've met with their coaches personally. Uh, we've had a few phone conversations, we've had a coaches night. We've armed them with a lot of drills as well. So um, we're basically looking at getting volume. And when I say volume, I'm not talking running, I'm talking volume of football, uh, skills, the basics. So we want to look at what they need to do so we can lift the standard across the whole football club um, in terms of the skill set. So the only way we're going to do that is ensuring that they're touching a lot of footballs, um, they're not wasting time doing other things. So we want to see them kicking, we want to see them marking, handballing, um, getting a bit of game sense in their training. Um, obviously when they start learning how to tackle they do it properly um, all these sorts of things we want to instruct into the football club so basically the whole aim then is each time they go up a line or up an age group we've got the volume of skills we've got the expectation of what we require in their skill set and and they're coming through at a better rate um, and then the end goal is what we hope is that we we have a successful senior football club as a result because we've got a great opportunity with, with a lot of the guys coming through that if we can keep them together, we can keep the skill set together, well the whole club as one um, is going to benefit from this. Excellent. Alright, well, well finally Marty, you've been with us now for, for five weeks. 
Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about you know, what have you seen so far in terms of your observations at the footy club? And at the end of the season, when you look back, what would you like to say you have achieved um, at, the end of, at the end of the season? Observation of the football club is, is, is great. I think it's run very well. Um, it's got great people that care a lot about the football club. Um, it's got obviously the great community feel which, which I've really enjoyed and, and everyone making me feel very welcome. So from that aspect it's, it's first class. Um, the, across the board um, there's probably a little bit of a discrepancy in the, in the better skilled players to, to the weaker and we can fix that um, as I said earlier. Um, and we'll work to ensure that we do that by spending some more time resourcing our coaches well, giving them the information that they need, so understanding that. And then looking back, uh, oh look, I mean, it's an interesting one and one that we've got to probably start looking at is, is our focus and, and, and what, is, what are we as a football club want to stand for from a junior level. And I guess from where I sit, I'd like to look back and go, how many players have we developed and, and how many players have we developed to go up the next level, whether that's up to 16s, up to 17s, up to senior football, and um, certainly from my end with 17s, I'd love to think that we've got half a dozen players that we've developed that can then go on to the under 19s or reserves or even senior football straight away. And uh, for me, that's probably the success of the football club is when you've got juniors and you wanted to transfer them into seniors, um, that's that's your measuring stick. Um, how many we can do that? So. Um, whilst that's a long-term view, the, the short-term view was certainly just ensuring that we've got the participation numbers and, and everyone wants to come back. We've got a, a large portion of the 16s that want to come back and play 17s next year and we've got a good strong list. We can keep the 17s in Divi 1. Um, the 16s we can field a side that can stay in the Division 2 or even higher. And just ensuring that um, the younger guys, they come back um, and that we make sure that you know they're the future of our football club and participation and, and ensuring that they're getting plenty of volume in their skills, they're getting plenty of opportunities to come to training to enjoy it. Um, and then obviously next year we'll, we'll have a good 12 months to, to properly and appropriately plan. Excellent. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Dan. Good on you. All right, well, uh, Muddy's going to be around the footy club, obviously, so if you're around at Princess Park or even at away games, make sure you get yourself up, introduce yourself to Muddy, bring the kids along, get the kids to know him as well. Uh, it's an exciting time for the Ajax Football Club, and uh, we hope to see everybody here at the park every week, next year and onwards as we develop this great footy club. Thanks for watching.